Hello there, my name is Emin, EMC Soft, and um, in this video I wanted to show how you can do integration of a Google Calendar with your self-hosted Bitrix. Actually, I wrote it, uh, the same video two years ago, uh, but quality of that video is not too good. Voice is very awful, actually. And uh, uh, I done integration recently and uh, with my Bitrix of Google Calendar, and I find out that with uh, some changes in interface and some changes in settings, and I decided to write a new video about that. Um, so this is my calendar, and you see that there is uh, some meetings here, uh, which are booked in uh, Google Calendar. And uh, so when you want to make a meeting with me, you use that link and that um, meetings come to Google Calendar and uh, that Google Calendar now integrated with, with Bitrix and now I see all meetings here. So how you can do that yourself? Right, so first of all you need to go to um, Google Workspace. So I will use my previous video uh, because it's slightly some changes but in general the idea is the same and um, so i will uh, go to as in my video console cloud google com So once you go to consolecloudgoogle.com, you will see something like that. Something like this page, like welcome, my first project. And uh, here you need to click my first project, walk in my first project and click here, new project. Here you need to uh, type life, like something like Petrix 24 calendar integration integ integration right so uh, location you can ignore that and create then uh, click here again select your project and go inside of that project right so then click here and uh, IP services api and services select api and services right then uh, select credentials and click create credentials of client id right configure consent screen select external create App name <clears throat> Beatrix Kalin Dar Int Dar. So you can put your name, uh, your email, and uh, here your email as well. Then click save and continue then you need to add or remove scopes and go to google api library type here calendar open both and add both Okay, so Google Calendar API enabled, close that, and CalDev enabled as well. All right, close that, and close that as well. Oops, we need to update it. So we update it, save and continue, add, remove scopes, rows per page, just to see all. 
and type key calendar calen okay okay and uh, we can select all okay and update right so then you need to click save and continue add the test user uh, so you don't need to create um, publish your app uh, in internet because uh, that application not think that more than 100 users will be use your application and uh, so you can use that application test mode so you can select this and put your email again and click add okay then save and continue all right check all of this back to dashboard right we finish here what else then you need to go to credentials create credentials out of client id application type web application you can leave it as it is then you need to go back to your bitrix portal go to admin panel settings model settings and uh, social website integration and then in that page find google so we need to delete that this old one and copy this this link and come back to your uh, google then uh, click uh, for the redirect urls create all right so you will generate it uh, client id client secret you need to copy this both so you need to copy client id put here and copy client secret right and click ok then you need to go back and put here client id and client secret and apply also one important thing you need to go to the main model settings model settings main model then authentication then find enable safe registration for users and check it then apply that's it then go back to bitrix go to your calendar go to synchronize connect google connect select your account continue select all and select this email we don't need that and continue hey congratulations okay so done we done uh google calendar integration with Beatrix 24 my congratulations so it's not easy to do because not proper manual about that which i found uh, i tried to find such manual in uh, in internet but i didn't so uh using uh, my experience and Beatrix support finally i get results so if you have got the questions regarding that video uh, ask your questions in comments on that video if you like that video please click like thank you and bye bye